All right, well, I'd like to welcome you all today. Um, here we have Jonas, who uh, sustained an ankle injury about one week ago when he was uh, playing hockey. He went to try to stop himself, and his skate caught like this, and his body went backwards like that. And therefore, the skate pushed really hard into the uh, lateral side of his leg, right into the fibula, and he sustained a considerable amount of pain. Next morning, came in, um, to the clinic had uh, difficulty weight bearing and most significantly had pain when he was weight bearing and turning and twisting. Um, when he first came in we didn't notice a lot of swelling as you can see right now there's very minimal swelling around the lateral fibula uh, and no significant swelling intra-articularly. Um, you didn't have any numbness or tingling at the time? Nope. Any popping, snapping at the time of the injury? Nope. That you remember? No. Nope. Okay. Um, and he did report immediately having some difficulty dorsiflexing the foot. Plantar flexion is a little bit tight also. And where do you have most of your discomfort? Uh, right around the malleoli and right in the anterior portion right there. Okay. So a couple things that uh, we did when we first saw him was check his range of motion. Um, and he gets to just above neutral right there. Any pain with that? Yeah, that's where it starts. Okay, so he starts to get some discomfort there. Plantar flexion. Yeah, right about there. And where is your pain? Right here. Okay. So it's up a, a little bit higher than the common ankle sprain. Um, typically, your inversion ankle sprain uh, type injury will be through the ATF uh, area here. Calcaneofibular ligament, you can see it's nice and tight right there. And then the posterior tib back here and uh, talofibular ligament, and he's not having any problems there. Uh, so the first thing we're going to check is his stability to see if um, his ankle is good and stable. And his is. Originally we checked the other side and it's equal. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to test the ATF. Give him a little plantar flexion and inversion. Any pain of that? Very little. That's oh. not too bad. So a common typical ankle sprain, inversion ankle sprain, would present a lot of, with a lot of inflammation, irritation, swelling there and pain when I do this test. Um, now I'm going to perform a Kliger's test where I take his foot and I'm going to plantar flex it a little bit and I'm going to evert it and I'm also going to hold him right here. As I do that you can see he has a considerable amount of pain with that. Now where's the pain when I do that? Right in the same spot, like right up here. Okay so it kind of goes up just uh, medial to the uh, fibula. Next, what I'm going to do is palpate between the tibia and fibula. And that's really painful. Mm -hmm. Better as you get up there. Still and it sore. starts, and we're right still sore here, but it starts to decrease yeah. a little bit. Right in that area. We're going to do a bump test. Any pain with that? No. We also did a tuning fork uh, on his fibula when he first came in and uh, didn't have any uh, considerable pain with that. We also checked his pulses and those were fine also. He's having no obvious neurovascular uh, dysfunction. The other thing we checked was his fibula all the way up and down to make sure that he doesn't have a Mazenews fracture which is extreme, which is common with uh, ankle sprains uh, where you sustain a, a spiral fracture of the uh, fibula. And oftentimes uh, we just x-ray this area that was injured and neglect the rest of the uh, tibia and fibula where you can also have a, a secondary fracture. Um, so uh, we had Jonas seen, we put him immediately into a, a walker boot to immobilize him. That increased his ability to walk, significantly decreased his pain, and um, also sent him to uh, orthopedics uh, where he received an x-ray to find that he had no fractures and uh, had the diagnosis of a grade one high ankle sprain. Um, and so the way we're going to treat this is uh, we're going to immobilize him in a boot for a couple of weeks and then start to progressively get him back to a weight bearing probably with a lace up brace with controlled um, uh, walking and all straight plane activities and really not encourage any weight bearing or um, twisting uh, and pivoting type activities just yet um, and uh, and that's how we're going to that's how we're going to progress with uh, Jonas